Hello and welcome to this same video one year later. I filmed the video exactly a year ago, I think it was January 28th and I answered some questions that I got from either just that I thought of or that I took from Billie Eilish's video that she also does the same interview like every year. And also now I feel like I did it at such a good time because it was pre-covid, corona wasn't a thing yet, like I was full of expectations for the following year. I had so many plans and I would travel and hang out with friends so I feel like this is gonna be a lot of me just like crushing my own dreams. <laughs> and also just to give you a little bit of context, I was in my last year of university when this was filmed so I was very excited about the graduation. I was planning to take a gap year next year, as in this year, and then work and travel. And I was supposed to meet my friend from Canada in summer. And like, because this was in January of 2020, I was still like very much living in the past year and in 2019. And that year was amazing. I did exchange and I traveled a lot and I thought that 2020, was gonna be even better <laughs> but you know let's let's crush some dreams and see what who i was and what i thought so yeah okay i got comfortable and let's go it's currently the 20th of january 2019 and i'm 21 oh, years this old this is weird <laughs> i First thing that's different is I'm not so blonde anymore. Also, I don't do full face of makeup for a video anymore. I remember after I filmed this, it was after my last exam for the winter semester. And then <laughs> I filmed this and I went to get lunch with my friends. And they were like, Maya, why do you look like that? Like all full face of makeup and hair and everything. And I was like, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I look so like dollish and put together, but I just filmed the video that you're gonna see in about a year. <laughs> and yeah, so, hey, Ana Maria and Maria, if you're watching this, this is a picture from that day. <laughs> I traveled a lot this year because I lived for, because I lived in France for five months. So, France, I was so obsessed with my Then in French, exchange. I traveled. I was in Lille, Paris, so Marseille, French. Nice, Toulon. Okay. I went to Monaco. We um, get it. Brussels, Bruges. Just shove it Amsterdam, all in my face. London, Go. Malaga, Spain. Yep. And I went to Krakow in Poland. And that's it. Wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. Wow. Um, where did I go this year? I went to Copenhagen at the beginning of the year and <laughs> that's it That's it I'm also proud of myself for actually like living in a foreign country and surviving and thriving <laughs> Aww, cute. I was like, hmm, I don't know what I'm proud of but I know that now I'm proud of myself for graduating um, that's a major thing that's happened and also proud of my friends for graduating because we all did it together um, some of my friends are still in the process of graduating but we're all even stronger and more independent now so what makes me happy um, my friends make me happy Chrissy makes me happy <laughs> um, still does. my little niece oh, she makes me so happy she's so cute um, Traveling makes me happy. Who are your best friends? Okay, so in this question, I go on about who my best friends are But if for example, like Chrissy would like hear or see this now She'd be like, but Manya, you don't do best friends and I'm like, yes, exactly I don't do best friends because How do you choose a best friend? <laughs> I have a group of friends and then I have this group of friends and then I have this group of friends and I have a different dynamic with each person and I don't know I just vibe differently with each one of them so maybe I'll talk to this one more today and I'll talk to this one more tomorrow but that doesn't mean I favor one over the other so I don't know it would be very difficult for me to choose my best best bestest friend ever 
was the most expensive thing you bought this year? I bought an iPhone 11 that I'm filming this on. So the quality better be perfect. <laughs> I filmed a lot of videos on, I mean, I filmed every video on iPhone and I think the quality is still immaculate. A goal that I have this year, I think it's just like to not take anything for granted because <laughs> I did and then something like a little thing happens and it can just change your whole, whole life for better or for worse <laughs> okay yeah this was relatable then but also relatable now because don't take anything for granted because a little thing like a little virus can change your whole life um oh my god i even wrote down like question 13 that was like what i've learned this year that's gonna come up later i was like don't take anything for granted <laughs> i'm talking about it here so that's like wow i guess i did learn something this year from from me to me most important goal i achieved this year <laughs> was i set myself a goal of traveling alone and i did that and it's really like it it's really freeing Oh, and I achieved my goal of being independent in a foreign, in a foreign country. Um. This year, my goal was just graduate, finish school, be free as a bird. And I did that. Uh, what made me laugh this year was my friend Chrissy. She made me laugh a lot. <laughs> uh, also, my niece, Lena, she makes me laugh a lot because she's almost two months old two months old <laughs> she's now like a year and a month or something and oh my god she walks around she talks i mean you know like little noises <laughs> she has developed like a whole personality and she's like such a little tiny cute human and oh my god yeah i love her best memory oh wow <laughs> we would be here for a while <laughs> Um, I think best memories are definitely from exchange, um, also from my different travels. My trip to Krakow with my friends was one of the best trips I've ever taken because it was just so spontaneous, it was just so much fun and I laughed so much <laughs> and it was, it's probably like, it's probably one of my top ever memories I have. Uh, with my friends. This year it would be probably from one of the many trips that we made down to the coast coast of Slovenia, we didn't leave the country and we... I don't know how you call it in English it's soup stand-up paddleboard <laughs> we... <laughs> we used that in water and it was the funniest thing ever me and my friends trying to get on it, trying to stand up on it I have a video of it if you want to go watch it. It's one of my favorite videos ever. We even lost the paddle <laughs> and we were diving to find it. We asked for help. It was it was hilarious. One of the best memories of this year probably. Um, also when I went the second time around with different people, <laughs> we were sitting on it, like three of us sitting on a paddle board in water and it just sinked it started sinking and that it was very funny i can't wait to do it again this year tv shows i enjoyed oh i love elite it's a spanish tv show on netflix um what else did i watch oh you um uh, wait elite you oh the bold type really good all these tv shows didn't have another season since covid um, oh yeah, the bold type did have it, but I think they didn't finish it because of COVID. But this year I watched a lot of new ones since I was at home. I love Dynasty, it's very good. I'm waiting on the new season. I watched Euphoria, but I wasn't that like into it as many people were. Grand Army was good. It's about high schoolers in New York. That was really good, very insightful. Of course, I watched Bridgerton. I liked it because I watched it in one day. And funny story, uh, there was a scene, I don't even know, um, a ball and they were playing like 
orchestra music and everything. Meanwhile, an earthquake started here in Slovenia and everything is shaking. It was like one of the major earthquakes. Everything was like, what is happening? And there was this music playing in the background, like very ball orchestra. And I was like, oh my God, I'm living in my worst nightmare. So that's also a memory from 2020. <laughs> a lot of earthquakes. Oh, and I watched Lupin. I liked, um, I liked it. But the ending? What the hell was that? Like, I didn't even realize it ended. I was like, oh, so this is it? I don't know, we'll see. Oh, and the Winx Fate Saga. These are all recent, so I guess that's why I remember them the most. Um, favorite YouTubers. Um, I love Kennedy Claire Walsh. I love Best Dressed, Ashley. Um, I love watching Rihanna and Ashley's vlogs with her little daughter, Delilah. Oh, so cute. Um, I love Lindsay Ram. I love her style. Oh, and Sunbeam's Jess. This year, I started watching more of like oh, aesthetically pleasing vloggers. Moya, Marini, um, Nina Florence. There's probably more. I've been really into podcasts also. I like Datapod, which is Moya's podcast and she does it with her friend and it's really cool because it's like two students drinking alcohol and talking about random shit. And then Growing with the Flow is also a student in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Um, I like Frida Girls. This is like two girls. They're very like unfiltered. We'll talk about everything. Favorite songs of this year. Um, I have my French uh, like exchange playlist here. I mean, I had Spotify in France, but now that I got back, I there's no Spotify in Slovenia. So I'm like, <laughs> ah! January 2020. And then I think in like October 2020, Spotify came to Slovenia and I didn't even know about it until like a few days later. And I was like, wait, how did you post this like Spotify on your story? And my friend was like, oh yeah, Spotify's in Slovenia. Didn't you know? And I was like, Oh my god! So I got it and I got my old account back and I have my old playlists and I have my new playlists and I'm living my best Spotify life. I was so pissed. Like you can see how like passive aggressive I am. Like, oh, I wish Spotify was in Slovenia. My favorite song of this year would maybe be Dress by Charlotte Sands. That's how you say her name, I don't know. And she wrote it about Harry Styles and it's about a man in a dress because the whole thing that happened and I love it. It screams like powerful men and anything. I don't know, I just, I love Harry Styles and I love this song. Favorite movies? I have no idea. I watch a movie and then like three days later I forget that I even watched it, so. Same, I don't know what movies I've watched this year even, but for the last two months maybe, it was full on Hallmark moment. Romance movies, my jam. I love it. It was such a like, it's such a perfect like ideal setup and you just know everything's gonna work out. I don't know, it's my guilty pleasure. Most common mental state I was in this year. Happy, overwhelmed, same. excited. <laughs> same. Numb. Same. I think same. The nicest thing someone did for me this year when exchange was ending and Chrissy, like it was my birthday the day after we finished exchange and we all went back home and Chrissy made me made me a notebook. Ew. Chrissy made me a notebook and she printed out all of like our favorite pictures and she wrote out like a few pages of like our memories. I haven't seen that notebook in like since then. Oh my God, I have to re revisit it. Um, this year, it was probably during the Christmas time, me and my friends sent each other Christmas cards and packages. It was very cute. I made a video if you want to watch it, but yeah, it's cute. If I could change one thing about this year, it would be... Um, what would you change, Manya? It would be something that happened towards the end of the year. Oh, okay. Emotional stuff. What I would change this year is... No COVID, please. But I guess I there's a, that's out of my hands. So nothing much. I don't know. I did 
everything I could given the situation? Um, advice I'd give myself would be to, I don't know, probably something cheesy like live your life to the fullest or no regrets. <laughs> I don't know, I think something like that. Okay, advice I would give to her would be, I don't know, like I said before, don't take anything for granted, but I don't know. You live and you learn, you know, you learn from your mistakes or whatever. Okay, so this was the video. It was interesting. I thought I made more predictions about the future. That's why I was so excited to watch it now because I was ready to be like, nope, you didn't do that. No, you didn't do that either. <laughs> and I guess I talked more about the, what was happening then. So I guess if I make one of these now, I would be more like focused on the future. So the next year I can crush my dreams even more. But that's a story for another day. <laughs> and yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, peace. See ya, maybe next time. Ciao.